Hi, today I want to introduce to you the past tense in Ukrainian. In Ukrainian, the past tense may correspond both to English past indefinite tense and past continuous tense. For example, the phrase Vin Pesav can mean both he wrote and he was writing. In Ukrainian, the past tense is formed by dropping off the T ending from the infinitive and adding up the appropriate ending depending on the gender and on the number. Let's see the examples. And for these examples, we will take three mostly used words in a daily life. They are buti, meaning to be, probiti, meaning to work, to do or to make, hovoriti, meaning to speak or to talk. For masculine singular, the ending will be v. Let's see the examples. Ya buv, meaning I was. Ya buv, ti rubiv, meaning you worked. Ti rubiv, vin hovoriv, meaning he spoke. Vin hovoriv. Petro hovoriv, meaning Petro spoke. Petro hovoriv. For feminine singular, the ending will be la. Let's see the examples. Ya bula, meaning I was, if I am a female. Ya bula. Te robila, meaning you worked, if you address a female. Te robila. Vona hovorila, meaning she spoke. Vona hovorila. Oksana hovorila, meaning Oksana spoke. Oksana hovorila. For all genders in plural, the ending will be li. Let's see the examples. Me buli, meaning we were. Me buli. Voni robili, meaning they worked. Voni robili. Divchata hovorili, meaning the girls spoke. Divchata hovorili. Vi hovorili, meaning you spoke in plural. Vi hovorili. Try applying these rules with the other words. For example, spati, meaning to sleep. Lubiti, meaning to like or to love. Hoditi, meaning to go or to walk. Chitati, meaning to read. Pesati, meaning to write. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to write me.